So my name is Matt. I, um, I'm just new to modding. So um, please bear with me, and it's my first video as well. So what we are going to do is um, we are going to change a name of a skill. Or oh, using the same method, you'll be able to change the name uh, of a clothing. You could change the uh, name of an accessory. For example, you can change the name of a accessory to look like water eye earrings so that will be awesome and um, I'm a huge Naruto fan so I'm working on um, making uh, Rock Lee and um, I managed to give some names like um, I managed to change his attacks to look like um, I mean attacks to read Leaf Hurricane, Dynamic Entry, stuff like that so I'll teach you guys how to do that so there are two things you need to do, like uh, you need to have before you start with this one. You need to have um, the hex editor. Um, I'm using HXD, and um, you need to be um, to know the basics of um, unpacking and packing. So, the folder we are dealing here is Tripex um, is data one root and data two root and once you go inside you'll see a folder called message see all right so as you can see noun battle info battle name like stuff like that and accessory name costume name like uh, costume info like you could still change all of these and make it look like whatever you want. Alright, so let's see. Okay. Okay, this is what I did. So, um, <coughs> this is uh, in data one. So I go into this one. You just go down. Okay, so this is our victim. Dual destructor disc. Alright, so I'm gonna make it look like Russian Shuriken. It's pretty easy. So, but the, there are some things you need to um, keep in mind before you start doing that. So make sure the dual destructor disc the name spans over here like from here to here make sure you don't go beyond this point or before this point if you do so it affects all the other skill names and uh, they'll be missing letters and they'll be out of position so make sure when you change a skill name you change uh, something which has enough letters Put, your, put what you're trying to do. So, yeah. So, what I'm gonna do is, oh, yeah, before that, look at these uh, three dots here. It's zero, 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 zero. That means it's the start of a new one, or you don't have anything here. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna type capital R in here, same with this. You know why I select before I type? That makes it uh, overwrite whatever it's there. Otherwise, it would just type and uh, it would mess up with the order. So, better to do this rather than just type. That was a space, guys. See this thing? That's a space. So, Russian Shuriken. Alright? Oh, I could type dual or sensory again. Yeah, why didn't I think of that? Yeah, dual or sensory again. Let's do that.
oops oops my bad like things like that will mess up with your name so be sure you're doing the right thing sure that yeah sure it can Perfect! It fit the right place. So, yeah. So you basically go there, select save as, and you need to save it in um, data to root message folder. Go in there, data, message, and then. So, keep this in your mind. So, um, data one root has a different um, ultimate name folder so some of these would be different in um, data 2 folders um, message folder so you might be um, affecting some of the ultimate scheme in uh, data 2 folder so and data 2 folder ha will have different number of names like the one scheme so keep that in mind before you change something like this. So that's pretty much it. So basically, give me a sec guys. Um, I'm gonna post my video.